Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain and demonstrate what is temporal sound masking. As we discussed earlier, sound masking is a process of raising the threshold of audibility of one sound due to the presence of a louder sound. Now there are two types of sound masking, one is simultaneous sound masking and the other is temporal sound masking. We discussed simultaneous sound masking in the past, so let's jump on to temporal sound masking. Temporal, as the name suggests, is time related. So masking depends on time. Ma sound masking takes place for a short instant of time. Now for temporal sound masking to occur, you need two types of signals. One is a steady state noise signal, like this, and the other is a transient noise signal, like this one. Now steady state noise signal has a steady amplitude with respect to time, whereas a transient signal has a, you know like an amplitude that peaks up and dies down exponentially. So in temporal sound masking, a transient signal will mask a stationary signal. So like it'll mask the stationary signal like this. When it masks, what happens is it masks some period of time before the onset of the transient and certain period of time after the onset of the transient. So the masking that takes place before the transient is called backward masking and the masking that takes place after the transient is called forward masking. Uh, typically backward masking can last only up to 20 millisecond whereas forward masking can last up to 200 millisecond. Now let me demonstrate a classic example. Consider we're in a restaurant and Tom and Mary are sitting and uh, you know talking. Their speech can be approximated by a steady state noise signal. Now let's say in the restaurant the waiter drops a spoon. So the dropping of a spoon can be approximated by a transient impulsive noise. Now what happens when like Tom is talking to Mary, you know, his uh, voice is a steady state noise signal and when the spoon drops, Mary will not be able to hear what Tom said 20 millisecond before the spoon drop and 200 millisecond after the spoon drop. You might have experienced such kind of scenarios, you know, not necessarily a spoon drop, but maybe like a car honk, uh, you've been interrupted by a phone buzz, etc. Now, I'm gonna, uh, you know, demonstrate real time uh, temporal sound masking by, you know, speaking about the definition of sound masking and introducing an impulsive tone by snapping a box. All right, here we go. So sound masking is a process of raising the threshold of audibility of one sound due to the presence of a louder sound. So you, if you notice, you know, when I tried to snap the box, you would have not heard anything be before uh, 20 millisecond before I snapped it and 200 millisecond after I snapped it. So 200 millisecond is uh, like really short. It's like, uh, you know, one one third or even less than a second. All right, this is temporal sand masking. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.